Once a condition which only affected frontline health workers, maskne has become an increasingly common occurrence. And uh, here with her guide to keeping it at bay is Caroline Hirons. And it's Morning. funny, just to pick up on something you said earlier on, because I think it's absolutely true. If you have acne, um, it, it, it is such a debilitating condition yep. at its worst. Completely. And it's not caused by the irritation of a mask, is it? This is... This is it's, that's the term it's been given but it's yeah. not acne yeah it's, it's a bit unfair I feel bad every time I sort of see it and I'm you know aware of people who've had acne for years or have hormonal acne mm -hmm. or a teenager they must think my skin is much worse than that mm. so it's kind of a cute term that the media have come up with but it basically means your mask is made you a bit spotty yeah literally mm. so and obviously we're talking about day-to-day -day people not frontline medical workers because obviously you always have to be in one of these yeah if you're on the front line um, and if we could, it would be great if we all did, because obviously they're always sterile and they're disposable. But there are lots of options. Having said that, you know, how Don't... many are we putting on the planet? Can you not start with me, Phil? I've just got going. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> just give me a chance. <laughs> Welcome back, Always Caroline. <laughs> right, I knew it was coming. I was like, I knew he's going to say... Anyway, <laughs> well, I even got you a black mask. Look, look how well I did. I know, you did. Actually. So, silk is an option, and it's yeah. much more gentle on the skin. It's easier to breathe through. You need to obviously keep them clean and wash them. This is by a brand called Slip. Mm. They do different designs, so there we go. Look, perfect. That's very smart. They have it? leopard skin. This is, uh, this yeah. is slinky. <laughs> it is. <laughs> but you see how it feels softer on your face? It doesn't I feel like it's like ag... it. OK, I'm glad I made you happy, Mr Schofield. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just, just so you know, when you, if you do get one and you open it, don't throw away the pack that comes with it because they give you oh, yeah. spare, bendy metal bits so that you know when you put it on your nose. And then you can wash it. And them. you can do this. I said I wasn't going to put anything on my face this week. Look, well, always, that, always. You have. So, there we go. <laughs> and then day to day. So, I know we've got to rush through, but the main thing you need to be looking for are ingredients. So, you need salicylic acid, niacinamide, or azelaic acid. And all of these have a mixture of some of those. I'm not suggesting for a second you need all of them. Mm -hmm. You may just need to dip in and out. So first off is CeraVe, the SA cleanser. Now this is a brilliant cleanser. So if you get in from a, a shift at a hospital or you get in from work and you've had to wear a mask, make sure you wash your face properly. You, uh, you can't do too much when you're wearing the mask because you don't want to put anything on the skin that's going to break the barrier with your mask. Right. Because then you're at danger and there's no point in wearing it. Yeah. But when you get home is when you can cleanse properly. And this is salicylic acid. It's soft, it's suitable for all skins. Originally, interestingly, made for a drier skin, but is amazing for spots. But gentle, gentle. Super skin. gentle wow. and not that horrible foam that leaves you tight and squeaky. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Um, Pixie Clarity Tonic. Uh, this launched during lockdown and has quickly become one of their biggest sellers, coincidentally, obviously, because of what it's doing. Um, again, this is salicylic and a little bit of glycolic, but again, with all of these, they always have something in them to keep your skin calm as mm -hmm. well. So all of them have a mixture of like aloe or, you know, something softening Soothing. so that your skin isn't kind of stripped. This one's got probiotics in it. Yes, we have, that's, that's a common theme. Anything that's going to be good for the skin, you'll see as we go along. Dr. Sam, now this is the uh, Flawless Nightly Serum. Again, this is for you, I would say if you're a bit slightly older and your main thing is, not only do I have the spots from the acne, but I look a bit dull and I want to just sort of do anything. I'm tired when I get home and I want to do something that's going to help my skin in a hurry. Mm -hmm. If you're home, you know, if you get home, wash your face and whack a bit of this on and you'll see it doesn't, it's not a huge dollop. I'm so technical with the terms. Dollop. Huge do oh, not yeah. a huge dollop. Does a little go a long way? A little goes a long way. And I think she actually recommends like half a pump. Oh, it smells nice. Yeah. But it won't be fragranced. Dr. Sam is not a fan of fragrance. But it's got a nice... Yeah. It's medicinal. got a fragrance. Medicinal, medicinal fragrance. Medicinal. We love a bit of medicinal. I like that. See, it's not sticky. It's sweet. not this is, your, this is for your face? Yes. We're all face. Mm. All face. Now, this is interesting. You're going to love this. So, this is a prescription. We've, we've talked about these kind of things before. This is a prescription dermatologist service. Yes. So, if you think... You know, we, we have, we have any, I think, 650 consultant dermatologists in the UK and there's a massive shortage. People sometimes have to wait a year. Mm. So there's a couple of prescription services out. This is a newer one. This is Skin and Meat. You can pop yours open. Just to say, mine is my real... I subscribe to this. Mine is my real prescription. Oh. Yours is fake, because that would be slightly illegal. So you see it says Skin and Me for Caroline. Yeah, mine says for Holly. Yep. Yours is a dummy, but you can still see the packaging. And then you literally... I'll show you here. You just twist... And then there's your cream. Oh, right. And what is that? And that is, well, for me, it's a mixture of prescription retinoids. So it's tretinoin, niacinamide, and I think azelaic from memory. 
You'd think I'd know. I'm but right they, face. they create something for you. They that create you need. something just for you. So basically, wow. you go online. They take pictures of your face, front on left and right, and then you get and you can subscribe. You can unsubscribe as often. What a good idea! Now twenty quid a month. And it's a prescription. That's very good. So very that good. is, I need doctor help, but I can't get to a doctor. Mm -hmm. And then these are quick fixes. So if you think, OK, I've got a bit of a problem, but I don't need to change my whole routine. So, Dr Jart, this launched yesterday in the UK. This is Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream. I love the Tiger Grass range. So, again, feel how soft that is on your skin and how cooling. Mmm. Lush. You can put and that not on greasy. On. You're like that. Yeah. Actually, that this is smells just nice. You. Well, that yeah. feels like no, it's non-greasy. Non-greasy. Oh, well, that... the thing is, when you're dealing with spots, you don't really want no. a lot of grease. Okay. Really now, nice. really if you've nice. got the odd spots, the main a big mistake people make is they think, oh, I've got spots. I need to buy a, a mask for spots and use it all over my face. You don't. You just use it where you have the spots. So the ordinary salicylic acid, two percent. Yeah. I know you do. It's just for you, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I have to make it up to you because I bought in the mask. Um, <laughs> But this... Oh, look at the colour of it. I wasn't yeah, this is that. black, so go easy. But you put this on and you can spot treat. You can just literally be like, oh, I've got a spot there, I've got a spot there. Wow. And what do you do, sleep in it? Oh, no, you, can, you can sleep in it, you can watch telly, you can watch This Morning. Oh, my Le good So you leave it on for, like, an hour or something? Yeah, oh, not that long. Totally up to you. Depends how bad they are, to be honest. And then you wouldn't sleep off. in that, though, would you? That's no, all over it'll be all over your yeah. pillowcase. Yeah. Do yeah, it before or do it in the morning for a quick five minutes. If you have lost all hope and your face is what sore and this? red, yep. Do you want to, do you want to borrow oh, the uh, illegal mask? There That's you go. It, thank you. So I'm, so I'm <laughs> just okay. in the cold bucket. That's all right. <laughs> um, Zellan's vitamin D is my my face needs help. Do something. I'm so sore. And I've shown you the small size. We've had the big size, I think, before. So this was made especially for you to trial it. A little goes a long way. If you have redness, your face is sore, your face is dry. It, this is anything if, mm. if you lost all hope and you think i just want something to relieve the soreness this does it it comes in a spray which is nicer for a demo so you literally and it's a fine mist see it's a, i'll do it in front of my top and can you use that so if you're wearing it in the day oh, if you're wearing a mask in the day can you spray that over your face as you're walking around? so if you kept yeah. that in your handbag if you're on the tube, yeah. or you're running in a network, yeah. and you're like, my skin's just so sore. Yeah, you can... sore, and the, this spray is really fine, so it's better if you're wearing your mask. You would use the oil at night, because the oil will break the barrier with your mask, and that's what you don't want, okay. it's not safe. Okay. So the spray is fine, but the oil is for, I'm home, I've washed, oh, I'm... you're going to love that, aren't you? <laughs> what a nice idea. You look like a sexy surgeon. Do I? Oh, I see. <laughs> <You say. laughs> it suits you. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank Pleasure. You. Thank Brilliant. You very much. Thank you.